For decades, Southern California has had some of the worst air quality in the nation. Eye-stinging smog that hit our local mountains was an everyday occurrence in the 1960s and 70s. Since that time, air quality has improved dramatically thanks to the teamwork and cooperation of businesses, government agencies, and 17 million residents living in Southern California. Leading this effort is the South Coast Air Quality Management District, also known as the AQMD. Dr. William A. Burke is AQMD's Governing Board Chairman. As a co-founder and former president of the Los Angeles Marathon, I've spent the past 25 years promoting health and fitness in Southern California. In my position with AQMD, the pursuit of clean air for everybody has become my life's work. Over the next few minutes, members of the AQMD board will share with you their thoughts on what we are doing to clean our air and how you can help. They will focus on the following four areas. Number one, health effects from poor air quality. Number two, ways that technology is being used to assist in our efforts. Number three, teamwork existing throughout the region. And how, number four, we can all help as individuals in the fight to protect the air we breathe. Two thousand nine was one of the cleanest smog seasons on record, but what many people may not realize is that today's levels of air pollution still cause very serious health consequences. More than six thousand premature deaths are attributed to air pollution in our region every year. Harmful particles and gases that often permeate our air cannot be seen, but their effects over time can be lethal and affect us all. And I remember as a kid riding my bicycle and, and playing sports, especially in the summer, my lungs would scream from the pollution. South Coast Air Quality Management District has done a lot to clean the air, but we still have 100 days a year. That's a third of the year where the air is unhealthy. But the South Coast Air Quality Management District is working hard to bring that number down to zero. During the 2009 station wildfire, which burned more than 250 square miles in our nearby mountains, air quality reached hazardous levels due to thick smoke. The young and the old were affected. Those with asthma had serious problems. It's not just during a wildfire that the public needs to be informed as to the type of air quality they are having. We need to have this information available every day to keep the public informed in our efforts to clean the air and also for you, the public, to protect your health. The twin ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are the largest in North America, handling more than 40% of all imported goods in the country. But ships, trains, and trucks around the ports spew diesel exhaust, which is responsible for most of the cancer risk from air pollution. One of AQMD's many programs places air filters in nearby school classrooms to provide clean air for students thus reducing the impact from diesel exhaust. It is extremely important that we clean up the air around the ports of LA and Long Beach, especially because of the proximity to the schools in the area. The bad air quality results in increased absenteeism. We have students who are on lockdown because they can't go out and play during recess because of the poor air quality. We have uh, increased visits to the emergency room and the industry that uh, does business, the port-related industry, really uh, impacts the health of our young children. With almost every new health study, we learn that air pollution has more serious impacts than previously known. The weight of scientific evidence is quite clear, and it's not just residents living near the ports who are at risk. One recent investigation found that living in close proximity to heavy traffic can cause new asthma cases and worsen symptoms of those with heart or lung disease. We're also learning that unregulated so-called ultrafine pollution particles emitted by diesel and other engines may pose a more serious health problem than traditional pollutants, such as summertime smog.
With today's air pollution levels causing such serious health effects, the AQMD is committed to continuing its work to improve air quality in Southern California. Even though we're making progress now, population and economic growth in the future could thwart these improvements. That's why we need to push for clean technologies that will continue to improve our air quality. We need to electrify transportation. And what I mean by that is that right now, every day, we are eroding money. As we import oil, not only is it bad for the environment, it's bad for the country, it's bad for the economy, it's bad for the world. As we go to plug-in hybrids, followed by all electric vehicles, we break that entire paradigm. And so I believe this will bring more sanity to society and clean up the air. I mean, what is more fundamental than clean air? You know, we don't want to drink dirty water. Well, why would you want to breathe dirty air? And this not only cleans up the air, cleans up the environment, brings economic strength and wealth back to our country. In addition to adopting new technologies, we need to get high polluting older model diesel trucks and buses off the road and replace them with clean alternative fuel trucks. Fortunately, we have proven technology available to do this today. AQMD is helping to accomplish this by providing hundreds of millions of dollars in incentive funds to deploy clean technologies. For example, in 2009, AQMD provided $43 million to replace more than 300 older school buses with new low emission natural gas powered buses. It's important to replace older diesel school buses because diesel engines can emit over 10 to 30 times more pollutants than the newest and cleanest natural gas engines. Diesel particulate is a known carcinogen and we have the responsibility to safeguard all of our residents from toxic air contaminants but it is especially important to protect our children from this risk. Studies have shown that children riding inside a diesel bus may actually have higher exposure than if they were outside the bus. And children are the most susceptible to the health effects of diesel exhaust exposure because their lungs are still developing and they breathe faster than adults. So it's all about protecting our future generations. <laughs>